A podcast can be one of the best ways to grow your online business and connect with your dream clients in a non-threatening, non-salesy, and authentic way. It's also a great way to network and build relationships. Now, finding great guests can be time consuming, but in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use LinkedIn to not only find the perfect guests for your podcast in bulk, but also how you can connect with them and find their contact info in a couple of clicks, as well as how to reach out to them to actually get a response. Now, first you'll want to clearly define your perfect client. Who are they? What industry are they in? What do they want? What kind of revenue does their company do? And so on. So when it comes to bringing guests on your show, you should be selective, even if you don't have an audience and you should ensure that the people that you're actually inviting are a quality connection for you. Now, hopefully they have an audience of your dream clients already, or they are your dream client. Now, deviating from this could mean building the wrong audience and not actually seeing a return from your podcast, even if it means more downloads or listens in the short term, as those listeners won't be qualified leads for you and they won't actually buy from you. Now, next, you should already have people in mind that would be a great fit for your criteria. So just go ahead and list them out on an ongoing spreadsheet. Now, at the beginning, don't worry about how realistic it is for them to actually come on your show. Even if they are a celebrity in their space and you have no audience yet, and you're sure they wouldn't even answer your message, put them on the list anyway. Now, once you've listed everyone, you know, that would be a great fit off the top of your head. We can now turn to LinkedIn to help us build out this list even further. Now, LinkedIn has one of the most targeted search abilities out there for a social media platform. And there are a couple of different ways that we can go about this. So first off, we can find all the people from your list already on LinkedIn and connect with them there just by searching their name. And we can also search a dream company and connect with people there through the company's page. While this video is about LinkedIn, Instagram can be a great place to find influencers in your niche as well. And then we can use LinkedIn to find their emails or connect with them further. So for example, you could go to Instagram, search a hashtag that would identify your niche and add to your list, everyone that fits your criteria. So if I'm looking for athletes with a coaching business, hashtag former athlete and hashtag athlete entrepreneur are great tags for me to search. I could then go and find these people directly by name on LinkedIn. Now to further expand our list and find people that we may not have heard of yet, we can search for our niche on LinkedIn. So I could search for former athlete and find a bunch of people that could be a good fit. Now I can also search companies and groups. If I find a group that's within my industry or my specific focus, such as this one athlete network, I can join the group and then go through and look at the members of the group and connect with the right people. Now, this is a really great way to get guests, especially when you're first starting out, because you can typically find people that have some sort of audience, but that are more reachable than say the big dogs on your dream list. And they're often more willing to get on a podcast interview right away. Now, this is great low hanging fruit to get momentum. And as your show builds, you can begin reaching out to bigger and bigger players. But if you connect with them now, in the meantime, as you're building, or as Russell Brunson says, dig your well before you're thirsty. And it's not the first time that they've seen your face. When you actually reach out to invite them on your show, you have a much better chance of landing an interview with them because you've already started to build a relationship. Now, also, as you get more people to say yes to you, it will feed on itself and you'll be able to land bigger and bigger names. Now, all of these methods so far, we can apply to other platforms, right? Like Facebook and Instagram, but the powerful part of LinkedIn that separates it is the ability to filter even in a free search. So if I click all filters, I can narrow down my search by a bunch of different things, right? I can find people based on the school they attended, their location, keywords, and industries. Now, if you're in B2B or you have very specific criteria, such as job title, how long they've been in that role, revenue, company headcount, and more, I would highly suggest subscribing to sales navigator. Now you can always sign on for a month, do bulk searches to build out a massive list and then cancel it until you need it again. But under sales navigator, I can get very dialed in and granular on who I want to reach under lead filters. Let's say I wanted to make sure I was targeting people with an established company and not a brand new entrepreneur. So I can use sales navigator and I can filter by company headcount. So if I choose something like 11 to 50, right, they're likely well established and are probably generating a decent amount of revenue to support that size of a team. Now I can also filter by company type. So maybe I just want nonprofits. I can easily select that right here in the dropdown. Now I can narrow down by role function, job title, how long they've been at their current company or how many years in that current position. Maybe you're looking for expats, right? So you can filter by profile language and location. I can filter by what groups they belong to. I can also search keywords that they might have in their profile somewhere or in a post that they shared. Using something called a Boolean search, I can get even more specific. So let's say I'm looking for online coaches, but I don't want to get 
sports coaches or team coaches or anything like that. So if I just type in coach, I get all the above, right? Including the high school football coaches, the youth lacrosse coaches, and so on. So what I can do under job title is type out what I want to start a Boolean search. I open a parentheses and then in quotes, I put the search term. So I can put multiple. So if I say online coach, and maybe they also call themselves consultants, I can say, or consultant, close parentheses. Now that will search for both. What if I want to combine online coach in the fitness industry? Well, I can use the word and, and that will search for online coach with the word fitness attached. Whereas, or could be either one. And then I can define what I don't want. So after closing the parentheses, I write the word not, and then open another set of parentheses to put what I want to exclude, such as not football coach or director or teacher. So what do we do now that we have this curated list of dream guests for our podcast? Sure, we could reach out on LinkedIn, but what if they aren't very active there? Now, LinkedIn is a platform that people tend to log into somewhat infrequently. And so my message could be easily missed or never even viewed, or it could be months before that person signs in here again. So first I can filter my leads by those that have actually posted on LinkedIn in 30 days here under spotlight. And I might message those people on the platform directly as this filter indicates that they're fairly active here. Now, for those that don't fit this criteria, I can actually scrape their email using a tool like Lead Leaper. Now, Lead Leaper is really simple. It's a Chrome extension, and I think maybe it costs somewhere around $15 to $20 a month, depending on how many leads you actually want to scrape. But all I have to do is install it, and I can just click it on the search results page. And in seconds, I have an entire spreadsheet of emails of guests that are great for my podcast. Now, before you go blasting all of these emails at once, you'll want to make sure that you've actually done your homework and attempt to build a relationship. You'll also want to make sure that your messaging is personalized and it showcases what's in it for them. So a simple way to do this is to visit their LinkedIn profile and see if they posted anything recently. If they shared a post or an article or maybe a video, you can comment on that. So for example, Hey, so-and-so I really loved your most recent post on building a team. I think my audience would really benefit from this information. Would you be interested in coming on my show to discuss this? Now you can also add a bit about why you think they'd be a great fit for your show and you can structure your message to benefit them. Now, most people are very open to being interviewed and being on a podcast to begin with, depending on your niche. So you should be able to book quite a few guests by doing this consistently. And of course, the last part is to follow up. People get busy and lose track of their inboxes. So just because someone doesn't respond doesn't mean they aren't interested. Now, if you don't get a response after a few business days, just shoot another message that says something along the lines of, Hey, just wanted to bring this back to the top of your inbox. I know life gets busy. Are you interested in being a guest on the show? And if you still don't get a response, I'll usually drop my calendar link for them to book an interview time slot at their convenience on the third follow-up. Now, once you get people to say yes to you and you start to have some episodes recorded, you can always circle back to those bigger guests and tell them, Hey, I have this person and this person and this person on the show and see if they've reconsidered. So now you know how to effectively narrow down your search and find guests at bulk, as well as reach out to them for your podcast. Now, if you want to know how you can offload all of the work other than finding and interviewing guests, along with turning your podcast episode into over 36 different pieces of content without lifting a finger, check out my free training where I break this down step by step over at get.upperhandcreative.com learn and leave a comment down below with your number one tip for booking guests on your show.